Hello everybody, welcome to Fishing North Atlantic, in fact Fishing North Atlantic Scallops DLC and I am the captain of the ship Wobbly Captain, welcome aboard. So you're looking at the Ocean Runner, just one of the ships available in this Scallops DLC. So I was previously out here in the Ocean Runner, the game had received a couple of updates and I couldn't find any scallops so I went back to port, in fact it was lock port and um, I had a big rest period there, I had a big rest period um, of a couple of weeks, went into the bar for the rum and a beer and I got a hot tip out here in this place where I currently am, that scallops were being caught. So here we are folks, let's try our luck. So we've set two crew members, get them working out on the dredging nets. So let the fun commence, or are we going to catch any scallops? We need scallops, let's lower them nets, wobbles. So let's just have a quick look where I actually am fishing out here today. We are in this area here. It's the, uh, how's that pronounced? The Scotian Shelf or the Scotian Shelf. We're, uh, we're not far from there. That was where I received a hot tip. I don't know what that number four means. You can see, I don't know why that's there. If anybody knows what that number four means, let me know in the comment section below. I I have got no idea what uh, that number four is doing on the uh, on the map there. So we're out here, and one way I fish for scallops. I don't do this all the time. Is actually set my autopilot. So for the first session here, I'll set my autopilot. Click that autopilot. Escape. And once them dredging nets have hit the bottom, I will uh, I will set the speed. I want to go in the autopilot. Right, let's go out. Let's just have a quick look here. Hey, up, buddy. Let's just. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. This is rather strange, but uh, yeah. Let's just see. The nets have got to go down 74 meters on the ocean bed. Lots of uh, little boats around here, so we're going to have to be uh, careful in this area. Seems a lot of activity regarding other boats fishing in this particular area. So the nets are on the ocean floor, so I will just set this autopilot up to do all the work for me. This is just one way I do it. Uh, just see how this goes on. So that will control my speed. I think the uh, I think the speed we're aiming for when we're dredging, if I can remember, uh, the scallops is five to seven knots. Somewhere between five to seven knots is the optimum speed, the best speed to go. And straight away, at loop bottom right hand corner, boom, we've got a full net straight away there left net doesn't seem to have uh, caught anything but straight away we've, uh, we've filled that net now generally when I'm on the scallops I don't I don't usually use the autopilot I, ge I generally just manually sail the ship Having much luck in the other 
to get both nets uh, full before I uh, before I winch them off. We're getting a few, not many. It's a bit of a slow start. This wobbles. A bit of a slow start. Might have to change course and uh, turn around. I think. I need to turn around let's just set the autopilot to turn around and go back I think we're going off course it's best to set that area there I think right the ship will now on its own turn around because we're on autopilot let's monitor the speed we want to be going aiming for between five and seven knots Hopefully, by turning around and going back to that spot, we will fill our other dredge net. That's the plan. That's the captain's plan anyway. I'm not an expert at this. Believe it or not, there isn't much um, business for dredging in Stoke-on-Trent, England. <laughs> I think they dredge the canals. Do they dredge the canals and rivers every now and again, but they don't fish for scallops in them. I don't think they do anyway. That's what we're looking at. I can't zoom in, so we'll use me binoculars. <laughs> we're 82 meters at the moment. That's how deep the ocean is here. Uh, the right hand net is full. We're attempting to fill the left dredging net there. We're using the autopilot. We'll use the autopilot at the moment uh, and then I'll come off autopilot and I'll, I'll do it manually after we've hopefully pulled our first catch. Look at the fish. Do you see the fish left hand, left hand side of the screen there? There was a fish. I think we've got a lot of swordfish and tuna out here. Hence all the little boats. You can see them in the water. It's, uh, I don't know if it's in season for them at the moment. Swordfish. I'm fishing. I think I'm in December at the moment. There's a lot of activity out here going on. Not having much luck filling that, uh, that left dredge net. Rather slow. We've arrived at the final waypoint on the uh, on the autopilot. Do. We'll haul these nets up now. Let's just haul them up and then we'll have another go. Try as luck. Let's get these nets up. Let's see what we've got. There you go. What's that? That's a swordfish, isn't it? Just gone past. Did you see the big swordfish? We're not fishing for swordfish, Wobbles. We're after scallops. That's what we want. We want scallops. You always find the swordfish when you're fishing for them, can't you? 
scallops is what we want. Of course we can hear a lot of the gulls, a lot of the seagulls. That's always a hot sign that you're on the actual fish. But after scallops. All the visuals all seem to be working nicely now at the moment. I know on Steam you see one or two comments about this DLC about the, the nets not working correctly on the dredging. I think there was, to be honest, I think there was a little bit of a problem up on first release which I think the game devs then get really stressed out and have to work 24-7 trying to fix it. And they, they did fix it quite quickly and there go the scallops! And playing the game right now at the moment, um, all the visuals seem to be working as they as they should. All, all the net, all the dredging nets on the scallop DLC on this particular ship anyway. I'm not, I'm not trying the others, I've only got this one and I think I've got a very old one. Um, old Ben or something. Um, all the visuals seem to be working. Um, Quite, not, quite nicely, as you will see if you watch the video. So, that's wakey wakey. No rest time on my ship, not on the captain's ship. Let's get these scallops sorted and hand gutted. I personally am not going to do it because I'm the captain of the ship, I'm the boss on this ship, <laughs> I'm the gaffer. I'm sitting up there in the bridge, in the cabin, whatever you call it, and my crew are going to be doing all the work on this particular boat. Oh, my captain of the ship. <laughs> so there we go. It appears we just got over four, what we got? What did we get there? 4,599 kilos, kilograms of fish. Let's try again. Let's see if we can now fill both nets. So let's get them back in the water. There you go. You can see the visuals on the dredging nets are working fine there. They're not getting stuck on the side of the boat as, it, as they were when it was first released. Uh, the visuals seem to be working um, as they should at the moment. Unless, of course, they update the game again and it all, all breaks again. <laughs> but uh, things seem fine at the moment. But let's lower them nets. Look at these little boats. We've got to be careful of these. Look at these. They're out here fishing. There's a swordfish, it looks like. Got to be careful we don't actually collide of all these little boats. Of course, we're probably annoying them captains of them little boats. Hey, it's that wobbly captain out here dredging again. <laughs> In that dredger, he's a nuisance. Swordfish there. Look at that. That's some money. I don't know if I, are they out to season at the moment. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'd have to have a look in my wiki. In my wiki. Of course we are fishing the scallops, which don't show up actually on the radar. So you won't see them on the radar. So if you can't actually find the scallops yourself, it's always best to go into the local bars and the ports, have a beer or two, and mix with the locals and see if you can find a hot tip, which is what I did, because I couldn't find any scallops. I managed to get a, get a, get a tip out of a local pub in Lockport. Right, forget the autopilot now, we'll do this manually. And as you can see, boom, we were on, we were on the scallops straight away. Boom, baby, that's a haul, that is a haul, we were, we were on them, literally, straight away. So we'll haul these nets up. We'll 
just have to wait for the nets to come up. Shouldn't take long because we're not actually very deep. There we go. We nearly got them up now, 30 metres to go. members out yet, just in case them scallops hit him on the head, don't want to knock him out, right, it's wakey wakey time, no rest on this ship, come on, get to work, <laughs> here they come, where are they, wait, they'll come, out. they'll come out that top door, no bottom door, it is, there they go, bottom door wobbles, they sort these scallops so fast, they are really, really fast. Of course, if they did it to live simulation, we probably, probably, probably would be here hours as I've just dropped the net on top of them. Health and safety goes out the door on my ship. <laughs> right, they are now hand gutting them and we will prepare the nets to lower them back into the water and try our luck again. Here goes. So being the captain of the vessel, I'm just skippering the boat here. And my crew are doing all the work. I'm the only captain on this ship. I'm giving all the orders. That's, that's what I'm doing on this particular boat. I don't get involved with hand gutting the scallops or sorting them. So seven days ago, we're, we're right over where the scallops were seven days ago. We will, uh, we will try our luck. We're right on. I don't know what that number four is for. No idea. But we're right on the scallops where we got the tip from here. And uh, we're in this particular area. No idea what that four is. Don't know. I don't think that should be there. That number four. Probably some programming error in that number four. Should be one of these little boats maybe. I don't know. So the dredge nets are nearly at the bottom. We'll do this all manually now, no autopilot. We will skip at the ship manually, controlling the speed. Once the dredge nets hit the bottom, we're aiming for five to seven miles an hour, trying to keep it somewhere in between that speed, five to seven, not miles per hour. Knots, wobbles, knots, use the correct nautical terms, wobbles. <laughs> five to seven knots. Here it goes. We're on the bottom. Let's try a little bit of power. Keeping an eye on the dredge nets there on the screen. We've got nothing yet. We're not up to speed though. Oh, there we go. We're getting some in the right hand net. Right hand net. It's but you. Oh, we're full. We're straight on the money. Boom, baby. Let's stop this ship and haul them scallops up. Straight away. Look at that. We were on them literally straight away, but we're right on target where the hot tip was. Um, even though it was seven days ago, the scallops still seem to be here. Like a pro, look at that, we got them straight away. Straight away we filled that net. I actually want to fill my boat though before I go back to port. Uh, I'm not 
going back to port. Half oh, full. We're filling the boat. I think Mr. Skipper says so. We'll get a better payday with a full with a full storage of scallops. Hopefully, hopefully. Of course, I don't know how many scallops are here. Oh, Pearl. Was that Pearl? Didn't say Pearl. Has leveled up. Clever boy. Or lady. Was it a lady? I didn't quite catch it. Nevertheless. My crew have levelled up, which no doubt means I've probably got to pay them more. again, repeating the procedure of sorting the scallops and then they'll go on to hand gut them, uh, I will then drop the, give the instructions to drop the dredging nets once again and we will repeat the whole procedure, unfortunately that's what we're going to be doing until we actually fill hopefully our entire storage compartment on this vessel. Captain's orders, we're not going back to port, not until we've got a full boat of scallops. No, 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 put the, uh, put the booms down, whatever you call them, put the beams, are they called beams? Uh, let's, we want them down, let's, uh, let's get the nets back in the water. It's going to be a long night, a long day out here, fishing for scallops, grab a copper, right, no autopilot, we'll do this all manually, we'll just wait for the nets to hit the bottom, 77 metres down they've got to go, using my binoculars because there's no other zoom in option I don't think in this game which is unfortunate I'd like to see a zoom in option without having to get my binoculars out here <laughs> right. we've got other vessels in the area so we're going to have to be careful we don't hit any of them because I don't know if I've actually got insurance on the boat it would be disastrous if I sunk out here Go. they're on the bottom nets are on the bottom little bit of power five to seven knots we're aiming oh look at that boom baby left hand side one is full literally straight away right hand side net has yet to catch got to watch that little boat in front of us there wobbles as well keep an eye on that quite busy let's go off to the left there we go we filled filled the net we're on the money so we go through the whole procedure again of lifting the nets up sorting the scallops hand gutting and loading the nets again this is going to go on no doubt through the whole of the night here until we Build our storage compartment on this vessel, which I'm not too sure is it 40 kilos this boat holds or 50 kilos. I, uh, I can't remember. Straight away we were on the scallops. Lovely jubbly.
game we need two more crew members now wakey wakey sort scallops and pan gut out they come Five meters to the ocean bed. Just have a look at our storage there. So now on the ocean bed, so a little bit of throttle, a little bit of power, five to seven knots we're aiming for. Are we straight on the scallops again? Are we going to be lucky? There we go, straight away, boom baby, right hand side, the dredge net has filled. So let's just steer off to the right hand side. straight away just by steering the uh, the vessel the ship the boat to the right hand side boom we were in straight away pretty quick that's what we want on the money on the scallops I keep saying right and left I think I think and I don't own a boat <laughs> I think if I'm in the cabin captain's area and I'm looking forward I think the left hand side is classed as port and the right hand side is classed as starboard. I think. But I prefer to use left and right. I know my left and right, I'm not quite sure on my star on my starboard and port. And upper port and lower port and middle port and all that port. Uh, so I'll I'll uh, I think I'll keep to left and right. I know what I'm doing. Left and right. So we go through the whole procedure again. Nets are nearly up. All the visuals are looking correct at the moment. Nothing's getting stuck on the side of the boat.
going to be a long video, this is Japs. Very difficult to make a fishing North Atlantic video real short because everything takes quite amount of time. So grab a cuppa. That's what we've got up here on Captain's Bridge. We got a brew. We got the brews flowing. We got the tatley. Gotta watch these small ships around here. There's an awful lot of activity out in this particular area of small vessels. And there's one right in front of us there, lad. Right in front of us. There be a little ship. <laughs> Gonna have to watch that one. Right, we're on the seabed with the dredging nets. A little bit of power forward. Five to seven knots, Captain. Five to seven knots. Gotta watch that little ship above, in front, above us. It's not above us, Wobbles. Wobbles, it's not a UFO. It's in front of us. Straight in front of us, there's another boat. We've not caught any scallops yet either. Both nets are still empty. Starboard net, the green one's still empty. Look at that little vessel there, that little boat. Look at him, get out of my way. Where's the horn? Wobbly's coming along in his dredger. Get out of my way. The small vessels surely should give way to a bigger boat. Keep your eye on him, Wobbles. Keep your eye on him. <laughs> Looks a bit dodgy. Are we getting on? Oh, the starboard one. The right hand side one, turn right again. There we go, boom, we're on the money like a pro. Stop the boat, Wobbles. Let's haul the nets in. Keep an eye on these little vessels, just in case the bandits. Don't know if there's any bandits out here. Any pirates out here? Aha! <laughs> Let's look out for them pirates. Aha! Again, hauling the nets up. It's getting dark. We'll put the work lights on. Or oh, I have already put the work lights on, should I say? So the crew can see. Hauling the dredged nets up once again. It's a way of life, this is, it's a way of life. Nothing gets done quickly. You've got a you know, you've got a lot this part way of life, you know, out here doing this. Lovely calm water as well. Not very rough this sea at the moment. Nice and calm, a bit cold. I think we've got a little bit of snow. Put your thermals on and your mittens, keep your hands warm. Here we go through the whole process again. It's a way of life. A way of life it is, I say. Crew out, no time to rest. Scallops are all hitting the crew on the head, then I think. Um, health and safety's gone out the door now, we're all getting a little bit tired. They've got hard heads, I think they're okay. Still sorting scallops, there you go, they both finished. And gut now. And gut and I will uh, lower the dredge nets while all that is going on. Right hand side dredge net is 
full, but the left, the port side wobbles, the port side is quite empty, so we'll just steer. See if we can get that port side filled up. Don't seem to be having a little bit of joy, of luck, filling that dredge net up. Been out here hours, man, hours. <laughs> Getting a bit cold out here. An eye on them little vessels out there. Let them know we're here, we're dredging. I'm sure they are well aware, and we are more of a nuisance to them than they are to us. Watch them. That one's going, that one is going to sail right across the bow, the bow of our ship. Up. It's a 
swordfish. Look at that there, swordfish, Luke. Can you see it? Looks like there's quite a lot of swordfish and tuna in this particular area. So we nearly hold the nets up and of course we go through the whole process again. Loading the net, lowering the nets, dredging the nets, hauling the nets up, sorting the scallops, hand cutting and lowering the nets again. It's a way of life. We're still at it, chaps. <laughs> it's been a long night. Still trying to fill these dredge nets. We're nearly full. We're nearly full. It's nearly time to go home. One more haul here and we should do it. There we go. Boom baby, that's full. <laughs> Left net, port net. Let's haul these up and hopefully we can uh, we can set sail for home. And again, maybe not just looking at the uh, looking at the storage in the bottom left-hand corner. I think we're going to have to uh, maybe do another dredge, get another load of scallops after this one. We're here for the long haul. Yeah, storage fall, storage fall. Finally, we have got storage fall. Right, crew can have a rest. There you go, all the rest for them crew members. We're going to shut the ship down now and uh, need to retract the beams. How do I do that? Won't let me. I should be able to do it here. Retract beams. No, maybe I've got to take the uh, the chaps off the dredging. Let's put them for long, good, for good rest. They can go and rest. Now let's try and retract these beams again. There we go. It's working. Right. We're on his way on, chaps. It's been a long, long, long couple of days. I think we've been out here. <laughs> I've lost the track of time. What we need to know is where to take these uh, scallops. We want the best price. So we need to look under, not wiki, not wiki. I think it is finance. Uh, fish prices, right. Yarmouth, sea scallops, $18.52. $18 in Yarmouth so uh, we'll see let's go down here let's go Dunberg is it no that's an even lower price Lockport $19.18 next port down let's have a look at the price oh that's way low Digby let's go to Digby 19.23 in Digby uh, Dennis Port no $18 so I think it's going to be Lockport 19.18 or Digby 1923 i think digby is further away though from where we actually are i think lockport is closer where's digby is it digby where is digby is it up here no digby yeah that's quite quite far away that digby one i think we shall go to lockport which is there yeah lockport here 
So lock ports is a closer option, so we're not going to burn as much fuel. So uh, I think I'll go to lock port actually. So number of ways we can do this now is one set autopilot. So we'll put autopilot on here. We can do it that way. We can head back to port on autopilot. Just toggle it on. Uh, set the speed, increase autopilot speed to maximum. Maximum speed. I don't know how quick this boat actually goes. But we're on maximum, maximum speed. The boat is now turning into the direction as we've set the autopilot. Just keep an eye on for these little vessels wobbles. Quite a few little boats around us. So, uh, yeah. now automatically autopilot all the way back to port that's if you want to do it that way of course and I think for the purpose of the video we will uh, we will obviously fast travel because it's been a long a long day and night out here fishing the scallops so let's just disengage the autopilot and let's just fast travel there we go no problem fast traveling, hopefully. Straight to port. So here we go, chaps. All we got to do now is just sail in and dock. If you want to play realistically, like I've just previously mentioned, there's some numerous ways you can get around on the map. You can actually sail the boat anywhere you wish to go uh, on the map. Um, you can teleport. I could have teleported straight to the port from the destination where I was previously just fishing. Or you can set the auto autopilot and sail straight to here. Well, did they say you can sail the boat yourself straight here? There's numerous ways you can do it. Depends how you wish to play play the game. I'm just just talking about that just in case you've never played this game before and you want to know if you can actually sail your boat. You can sail your boat anywhere you want within the map and other ports, or you can fast travel to Ali Port um, to cut time. Depends how you want to play the game. Uh, down to personal preference. So we just got to sail in port now. I think I have noticed uh, just down there, where it's, if you look on the right, right hand side, where they're down here, where you've got the yellow and the red, as I press the oar, uh, just letting people know we're coming in. Is anybody getting in this way? It looks like I've actually got some scallops that haven't been gutted. Now don't ask me why that is because I don't know. So we'll try to uh, we'll try to sail in like a pro now. Could be a bit of an epic fail this because it's not as easy as what you think. <laughs> it isn't. icon on the water where we've actually got to dock and it will give us the option of like fast docking you don't have to uh, you don't have, have to moor the boat up it's just an update to this game where you can actually play it on easy level or hard level um, this is a continuation of my game um, before the update so it's I believe this is on the easy level I might start a new game on the hard level if there's enough people interested and want to see me playing this on the channel then I might 
start right from the very beginning now all the updates have gone into the game and um, start on a hard difficulty um, just to see what it's like so we'll use a little bit of thruster to go off to the uh, is it the starboard side to the right hand side to try and dock this boat like the professional captain that I am <laughs> <laughs> the professional captain that I am not. Can we dock like a pro? I very much doubt it. Should give us the option in a minute of just pressing a button and just automatically. Um, there you go, dock at lock port, press E. Let's just see if I can get a little bit closer like a professional. Let's see what happens. Probably going to smash into the dock, but uh, hey ho. difficult to control now and just do this correctly there we go I'm going hit the side I'm going oh yeah we got a little bit of hull damage but uh, never mind let's just dock let's just dock fish on board would you like to sell your catch at Lockport yes of course we would right what have we got net income just over eight hundred and forty thousand dollars wow wow couldn't turn that I couldn't hear that in a year in Stoke-on-Trent, England, the United Kingdom. $840,000. I think I'm going to have to... Can I sell up? Can I sell my house and maybe buy a boat out there? <laughs> I could retire. <laughs> oh, dear. So, there we go. Thank you for watching. So, it's goodbye from me. I'm going to go into town. Repair. I'm going to dock, actually. I'm going to maintain my boat. British fuel. Right, and repair hull ready for the next session so uh, yeah thank you for watching it's goodbye from me